Hello everyone and welcome back to Art to Your Studios. This is Hansiel and today I bring you another speed painting. Today's speed painting is of the Black Panther and the topic of today will be materialistic society. And to be clear, I'm Googling the definition of what materialistic means. In Google it says materialistic, excessively concerned with material possessions, money oriented. And here goes the example that they give. It says, we're living in a highly materialistic society. The synonyms are consumerist, acquisitive, greedy, worldly, capitalistic. So off the bat, we already know that we're all familiar with some of those terms and we know that none of them are good. So today, all around the world, we live in a very materialistic society that is focused on the material things that you possess, the material goods that you have, the things that you buy, what you're getting for Christmas, what you buy your another person for Christmas. And in essence, that is not the way we're supposed to live. We're not supposed to live according to what material goods we have. That is not what makes us us. That's, that's not what makes you you. Owning the latest phone, owning the latest pair of sneakers does not make you the better person. It may make you a popular person because you own the latest fashion, the latest brand. Like for example, when I was in high school, I was not the most popular kid in school. I was not pop popular in school. And I have this old Boost Mobile phone and my father decides to buy us a Boost Mobile phone, the latest one. We didn't At that moment, we didn't know that it was the latest phone, my brother and I, and he got us the same phone. And that week that I went to school, I went from being not popular at all to being the most popular kid in the school. Everyone wanted to come around me and see what new phone and the way it worked. It's one of those that flipped open. And the attention that I got from it felt great. You know, and that week I felt happy, but it was a very su superficial happiness because the people around me were not really my friends. They were just around me to see the new gadget that I got. So the week after I came back to school and everyone had that phone. So no longer was I their friend, no longer was I a popular kid. And let's it that told me right there and then that people, a lot of people are interested in you by what you have to give them or what you have to share, what material goods you have to share with them. And you know, I wanna tell you that today is the same thing. Although we're in 2016 and that was maybe 2007, 2008, that thing's still very much like that. Your people are friends with you because you have the, late, the better car, you stay up with fashion, you stay up with all these things. But in reality, that creates a lot of anxiety because the moment you think you have the latest thing, the latest brand, the latest and fastest and better gadget or car, next week there or next year, there's a new car, a new phone, a new, pairs of, new pair of shoes, and no longer you're cool anymore. And if you don't stay up with the standards that you set for yourself because of propaganda, because of marketing, and because of the way we live today, no longer you feel happy. No longer you feel fulfilled. No longer do you feel whole because now you need to get the newest things. And in today's society, there's a lot of people that can afford, cannot afford certain things and still they go out and buy it. And then you see that they, they don't have enough money for the rent, they don't have enough money for this or that. And because of propaganda, we buy into all of those things. We think that Christmas is made for us to buy gifts for people, we think that Birthdays is because is to buy somebody a gift, and any day you can buy somebody anything. 
But I think the most important gift that you can give is somebody, the most important, important gift that you can give to someone is to give your attention to them. You know, to give your time, to value their presence, to, you know, learn about that person, to spend time, to go out maybe for dinner or to chat. And that will really show them what value you have of them, you know. How much do you value their presence? How much do you value their their life, their opinions, their voice? And every day is a new opportunity to learn something. As I always say, to never stop learning for you. Because when you keep learning, you keep promoting that hunger for knowledge, that hunger, it makes you grow and it makes you a better person in the sense that you know what's important to you you know that every day is a growing experience every day is a learning experience and every day you can find out a little more what is it that this life has for you and what is it that you have to offer to others you know what can others learn from you what can you learn from others and i don't blame you for thinking that way i don't blame anyone to think that the latest pairs of anything, the latest uh, pair of shoes or latest phone makes you a happy person. I don't blame you if you think that way because that's the way the society has made, has made us think. That that's the right way of living. We're living in very interesting times and we live in an era of information. We, need, we live in an era of technology that you can learn so much. You have so much knowledge available to us and to really focus on the material things in the world I think you you might be wasting your time if you really focus that or you think that that's what really matters in your life find sit down today and find out what did your ancestors do or what did your parents or grandparents do and how were they happy what made them a better person you know why do you look up to those people that you look up to is it because they have the latest things or is it because they are a great person because they have a lot to offer and they they spend time with you they listen to you think about those things instead of thinking about oh I have the new phone and let me see the, the megapixels which a lot of people take pictures and take a million pictures and they don't really look at them after they take them so think about the things that we don't really think often. You know, spend time with those people you love. Spend time with people that think different. You know, the material goods come and go, but your the friends around you might be there a lot longer than those goods. So overall, I want you to think about your way of living and you know to start calculating what you're spending your money and your time on is it really worth your time is it really worth your money think about in the past how people lived and how they survived all these years how their way of living has changed but the mentality has kept intact and how strong the person could be you know think about the selfless acts that people have done for you, that you have done for others. Ask yourself what really matter at that moment. Don't wait for a wake up call. A lot of people wait till they have a close to death experience to realize what really is important to them. But you don't really have to wait for that moment when you know, when you have the time and you can calculate it on your own and think about what really is important to you. We live in a time that greed is very accepted and greed is looked up to. We all know what greed is, and we all know that greed, greed is not a fulfilling way of being. Reconsider your way of living. Never stop learning for you. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on social media, and if you like the video, click the like button. If you wanna see more videos, Click the video in the middle. And don't forget, never stop learning for you.